Hey guys, and welcome to this film learning quick tip episode. Now, I've had this question a lot of times during the years, and usually I just respond to it with just a comment, but I thought it might be time to just address it in a video really quickly. And that is, what happens when you have this happen? That's right, a missing file. Say you've opened up one of my templates, or you've downloaded a template from somewhere online, and you suddenly get this thing pop up. What do you do? Well, believe it or not, the answer is really simple and really easy. So, let's check it out. Oh, one more thing I gotta mention before we get into it, guys. That sweet retro title card that you saw at the start of the episode is actually from Video Hive. And if you click the link down in the description, you can check that out. And if you do pick it up, you'll help support the channel and you'll get that sweet title back as well. So it works out for both of us. Togetherness. Shut up. Okay, guys, so here we are in After Effects, and oh no, there's a missing file. We've got the test pattern all over the place. It's all no good. We're actually missing this flare file right here. And as you can see, we've got the test pattern up there. So what do we do? Well, we're gonna right click on that missing file and head down to replace footage and click on file. Now from there, it's just a matter of locating the file. Now I know it's in this flare folder because I deleted it and restored it. And you can see up in that top corner there that it actually tells us the name of the file. And in this case, the name of our PNG sequence. So let's open up that flare folder. And then I'm gonna click on the first image of that sequence, head down and make sure the PNG sequence is ticked. And then we'll just import that and BAM! Our file is back, and if we check out a preview, everything is working as it should be. Guys, it is that easy. Right click, replace footage, find the file, relink it, and you're good to go. So guys, that's how you relink or replace footage in your After Effects project files or templates. But for now guys, that's gonna do it for this quick tip episode. I know it was really, really short, but that's the nature of a quick tip. It's quick. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button and check out all the other content that's not really quick and actually a bit more impressive than this. We've actually got two other episodes right over here. We've got all our social media crap that you can follow us on for behind the scenes and all that sort of stuff right up here. And until I see you again, keep learning.